In this section, we are going to focus on analyzing and customizing NSC script. While in the previous section we talked about more advanced NSC use cases and analyzed NMAPS scanning phases, in this one we are going to start analyzing NSC scripts themselves. We are going to go through some fundamental Lua concept, as it is the programming language in which the NSC scripts are written, we are going to inspect and analyze the source code of some simple NSC scripts step by step. And then finally, we are going to make our first attempts in adjusting and modifying existing NSC scripts. In this video, we are going to jump right on inspecting a very simple NSC script while explaining any Lua concepts we might encounter. Learning by example is the approach we are going to follow and we are also going to learn about the NSC script format and structure. The script we are going to inspect is SMB version 2 enabled, which is a very short script for checking whether or not a server is running the SMB version 2 protocol. So let's go ahead and inspect the NSC script. NSC scripts are comprised of a bunch of descriptive fields, a rule defining when the script should be executed, and an action function containing the actual script instructions. The first thing you notice on an NSC script is its uh, requirements on existing libraries. In this case, the script requires the nmop, smb, string, and standard NSC libraries. The actual NSC libraries reside on the NSC lib directory. You can see the SMB and uh, standard NSC libraries exist on this directory, while the string library is a reference to standard Lua library. The nmap NSC library is an interface with the nmap internals then usually follows the description field, which is a summary of uh, the script's main purpose and usage. Lua uses two hyphens to signify a comment, starting from there until the end of the line. At this point, we should make clear that Lua is a dynamically interpreted scripting language and that it is recognized as a fast, flexible, Portable and small, easy to learn, and overall quite powerful language. It is also quite safe because you have to try really hard to cause a memory corruption, and that usually happens when you introduce C code in it. Next field we see is the author, which can contain the script author's name and potentially their email address and homepage URL. The license field uh, contains the name of the license under which this script is published. Uh, usually it's the NMAP license, which you can read in this URL. A very important field is the categories one, which uh, defines one or more categories to which the script belongs. They can be in any order. Uh, any script listed in the default category will be automatically run when you specify the minus sc command line option as long as it gets triggered by the associated rule for this script the rule is a host rule and is based on the relevant port having been discovered as open function from the smb library returns a valid smb port at this point, we should mention that the NSC doc webpage has a separate section for all the NSC libraries with all the associated functions indexed and documented. This is an easy way to quickly look up the summary of what each function does. For example, the get port function. This port can be either 445 or 139 on TCP or 137 uh, on UDP. If any of them have uh, has been found open on the host scan, then the rule for this script triggers and the SMB version 2 enabled script can be executed. Uh, by the way, Lua considers all values except false and nil to be true. 
The next NSE field is the action, which is the core of the script. This is the function that runs when the script's rule triggers. As we can see here, the action function gets the host as an argument and executes the local go function, which will return these three values as a result when it finishes. Let's see what the go function is all about now. After defining and initializing some local variables, the start function from the SMB library runs. As uh, you can read in the documentation of the start function, which is here, it begins an SMB session uh, with a host passed in as an argument and returns two values. The status, which if true means that the SMB session was initiated successfully, and all the associated information will be held in the SMB object, also returned as the second value. That second value contains all the SMB state, and it is a Lua table. The Lua table type implements associative arrays, which means they are arrays that can be indexed with numbers, as well as strings, like here, or any other value. In this case, custom string values such as UID, host, IP, are used as keys for the table. So if everything goes well in the SMB session initiation, the state table with all its values assigned will be returned and the status value will be set to true and also returned. Now back to the original script, we now have the table returned in the local variable SMB state here, and we move on to the second invoked function from the SMB library, which is called negotiate protocol. This takes two arguments, the SMB state we just got, and the overrides array containing these three string values. The negotiate protocol's purpose is to send out an SMB com negotiate packet to the SMB server and receive the reply from it. Uh, the returned result is the table containing all these values. We should point out that the negotiate protocol function is a generic SMB function used by other NSC scripts. Uh, having to do with the SMB protocol, not just the script we are analyzing now. The function tries to parse the server's reply and extract the protocol version first. And if the SMB server replies with an SMB version 2 packet, uh, then we return this error message. Our original script tries to see if that message result has the keyword SMB version 2 in it. If it does, then it means that the server indeed supports version 2 of SMB. It uses the built-in find method from the Lua string library to accomplish that. The script then returns the results and they are automatically formatted for the nmap report. Let's go ahead and run it now. Apparently our target does support the SMB version 2 protocol. Before moving on, Make sure you also visit the official online documentation as it is a very good reference for the NSC script format. In this video, we gave a quick start tutorial on some fundamental Lua concepts while examining a simple NSC script and its structure. 